my quick explanation of the Otsuki clan. Alright class, go ahead and take your seats and get ready for a little bit of history. Mr. Buddha here is gonna tell you all about the start of the ninja world. That's right, the ninja world we all grew to love only exists because of the Otsuki clan. Then I know I don't pronounce it right, so have mercy in the comments please. Now before you completely understand the history of the Otsuki, you must first know who they are. Now if you're even the slightest bit caught up, you know how they look. But just in case you're not, they're fucking aliens, literal extraterrestrial who travel world to world planting trees. That doesn't sound too harmful, right? Right? Well, these aren't your run-of-the-mill palm trees. The trees that they plant are actually called God trees. And it pretty much sucks everything out of the world that it is planted on, killing everything and everyone just to grow one fruit. This fruit is eaten by an Otsuki and evolves whoever eats it tremendously. After this is done, then it's off to the next world. Just like that. Now, the reason they do this is pretty much just for power. They have God complexes, but that doesn't come without losses. In order to plant one of these God trees, you need a living Otsuki to be sacrificed. That might sound harsh, but it's not because of the karma seal. If you don't completely know what that is, go ahead and check out my video explaining it. But basically, it makes them damn near immortal. Now that you guys kind of have a grip on who these aliens are, let's get into the history of it all and how it started the ninja world. Thousands of years ago, the Otsuki sent Kaguya and Ishiki to plant the god tree on Earth. The plan was originally for Kaguya to be the sacrifice and for Ishiki to eat the fruit. But things didn't exactly go that way. Kaguya's greedy ass wasn't going for it and decided to betray the Otsuki and slice Ishiki in half. He survived and lived on as a parasite inside of a monk, but Kaguya went on to fall in love with Earth and actually started getting her freak on with this guy. Tenji really the first person to smash an alien. Kaguya loved the Earth, but the wars were getting really out of hand. So out of hand that they all turned on Kaguya. This led to her eating the god fruit and using infinite Tsukiyumi. Fast forward some time and she gets bored, I guess, because she lets everybody out of the Tsukiyumi with no memory of the past. One positive pregnancy test later and Kaguya ends up having two sons, Hagoromo and Hamura are the sons of Kaguya and Tenji, and are the first people to be born with chakra on Earth. Kaguya hating that ain't like that too much and decided to try to take that away. But they sealed her ass up with the Chibaku Tensei and created the moon. Yep, the moon is just a big Chibaku Tensei. The brothers decided to split up with two different tasks. Hamura was set to guard where Kaguya was sealed, the moon, and Hagoromo was set to watch over Earth. Hagoromo began teaching ninjutsu to the world, had two sons, Ashura and Indra, and created the nine-tailed beast before passing away. And that's about it. That's my quick explanation of the Otsuki clan. Thank you guys for sticking through to the end and feel free to drop a comment on what you want to hear next maybe even a part two on this video and as always be sure to like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel for exclusive content thank you for watching boot out